and welcome to the shed. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about sanding sealers. Hope you enjoy. So today what I'm planning to do, I'll show you how to mix your own sh uh, shellac as a sanding sealer. I also want to do a comparison between two pound, one pound and half pound cuts as there seems to be a lot of information out there on the internet and a lot of people like to use different cuts of shellac as a sanding sealer. And I know the commercial ones out there tend to be a two or three pound cut. Three pound cut I think is, is too thick of a, a finish. So I'm gonna concentrate on two pound and below. Just on a note with the commercial sanding sealers, which I, I don't use them, but some of them tend to have other chemicals and stuff in there that can react with other finishes that you put on. So that's why I like to use shellac, is that it's cheaper to mix your own. And the shellac also is a great finish as it doesn't affect any other top coats that you put over it. But you gotta make sure that you use the correct shellac. The shellac I've got here is blonde shellac. It's de-waxed shellac. And if you're using a shellac as an undercoat for anything, you wanna make sure that it's a de-waxed shellac so other finishes can stick to it. In this case, I'm using the blonde one, which is a very light shellac. It's what I've used on the cabinet back here. And it only really enhances the color of the timber. But if you're putting other things over the top, I don't like using amber shellacs and other colored shellacs because to me it's just a bit counterproductive. For this, and I'll, I'll put a little thing up here on screen for you so you can actually see the breakdown that I've done because obviously pound cuts, I've converted them to metric for those of you that need it and who wanna do smaller amounts. So today I'm just gonna mix up 100 mils for the purpose of this demonstration for you. And what that's gonna be is 24 grams of de-waxed shellac or 24 grams of shellac in general into 100 grams of alcohol. Now that can be denatured alcohol or methylated spirits. Today, I'm gonna to be using denatured alcohol, which I've got here, mainly because the methylated spirits smells a lot worse and the denatured alcohol doesn't have too much of a smell. So let's jump in here and we'll mix this up. It's the 100 mil mark just here. shake. So you can see that that was a very quick and easy process to mix that up. Now you really want to keep this around for a couple of days and you just want to regularly shake it. Now I know that this fine shellac only takes a few hours to fully dissolve but you want to make sure that it's fully dissolved in the alcohol before you use it otherwise your cut's going to be off and you'll have little bits in it. And if you're using shellac that's in flakes that will take a lot longer to dissolve because it's in larger amounts. So uh, you probably couldn't mix such a small amount with that unless you ground it up really fine. What will happen with this, I'll leave it around before we uh, get on with using it. Moving on, I've got some other shellac that I've mixed up previously. Two pound cut and a one pound cut. And we can see that they're fully dissolved and nice and liquid. It's the same de-waxed shellac. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead, get a piece of wood going and we'll set up for a two pound, a one pound and then a half pound cut. Now what everyone recommends is two coats of sanding sealer and then sand it back. So that's what we'll do. So what we've got here is a piece of pine. And we're gonna start with a 0.5 pound, one pound, and two pound. What my plan is here is to go between them here and we'll have one coat Two coats. And I'll start with the one pound cu uh, cut so I don't have to clean my brush between them. And we'll quickly whack them on, move on to the one pound and the two pound. So to get my half pound, I'm gonna pour a little bit of the one pound in here. And then to get that to half a pound, we wanna put double, so we wanna double it. So we wanna put the same amount again of alcohol in there. And then just give that 
quick stir. And now we're ready to go with that. Dip it in here, one coat. And we just need to let that dry. That's dry, almost dry. So we just wait a little bit longer. And as this is such a thin shellac, it does dry extremely fast. That's dry to the touch. So now we'll put that second coat on. And we're done with that. Pour out some of the one pound. And obviously one coat right across. We'll just wait a few minutes for this to dry. Or 30 seconds. This first coat does soak in incredibly fast. And when you mix your own shellac, it does dry much faster than the store-bought stuff, which I have bought pre-mixed in the past. And now we'll go with the second coat here. And then we'll move on to our two pound cut and do the same. You can already see that this is a much thicker coat going on, but it still dries relatively quick, especially that first coat because it really soaks into the grain. All right, let's dry to the touch now. And there's our second coat. So I'm just gonna leave this for about five minutes and we'll get back to, we'll give it a quick light sanding with some 240 grit sandpaper to make sure that it's all nice and flat. And then we'll apply some stain to these and we'll compare the differences. All the shellac is dry. So I'm gonna come in with a bit of 240 grit sandpaper and give it just a light sanding to make sure it's all flat to the surface as you would normally do with a sanding sealer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply a single coat of this Feast Watson tint proof uh, stain. This is a, a traditional stain, so it's not a water-based stain. It does clean up in alcohol, and I've found that when working with the shellac, that that stain does work better. But you can actually use any stain over it, and I have used waterproof stains in the past. But I've found that this particular type of alcoholic stain uh, does work better. Just use what you've got available, they will all work over the top of this. So let's jump in here, give it a sand, and we'll whack a coat of stain on and see the results. So what I wanted to do is just try and show you this. You can see it's quite smooth to the touch with the shellac. It hasn't actually raised the grain, and that's the half pound. The one pound here is very similar, but you can see it's a little bit thicker in the coat. It actually feels a little bit thicker here, but you might not be able to see that on camera. And then we've got the two pound cut and that's once again a little bit thicker although it is still quite difficult to see and you can't really see the grains raised because it really hasn't so now i'm going to go ahead and we'll sand all of these and add that stain so i'm just going to go with the grain and it's actually just a very light sanding here especially with the half pound you can feel that's already done that And that feels smooth, and there's a little bit of roughness over here in the two pound. So now we're ready to apply the stain. Now if you are applying a stain like this, do wear gloves, you don't want to get it on your hands, and you will want to wear a respirator and operate in a ventilated space if you can. So we're going to let this sit here and just soak in for about a minute or so and then we'll uh, wipe it off, let it dry and we'll see the results. So the stain is now dried and I just wanted to see and, and show you the differences that we get here. So this is the half pound cut, one coat, two coats. Now here, this looks a little more splotchy to me. I, you might not be able to see the difference on camera. 
This looks like it's a little bit darker because it's actually soaked in a little bit further into the green than this one here. And this one's like come on a little more uniform. You can sort of see that that works fairly well. Um, and if that was what you had, that would work well. If you wanted it to be a little bit more, you could obviously put another coat on. Moving on to the one pound coat. Here's one coat, two coats. Now again, we can see that this looks very similar to this one back here on this side. And with two coats, it definitely looks a little more uniform and it definitely hasn't soaked into the green quite as much. And then moving on to the two pound here, we can see that this has actually started to show a little bit darker on the surface, not because it's soaked in, but because one coat and two coats of the two pound coat gives a better blockage of the grain, a more uniform color to the, the stain. In my mind, that's probably what I would use as a sanding sealer. I think that the two coats of two pound actually looks better to my eye than the one pound. I know it's a little bit difficult uh, to see the differences on camera with this, but uh, let me know in the comments below which one of these you reckon's best with the half pound, one pound, two pound, or one or two coats. And also let me know what you guys use for your sanding sealer in the comments below because I'm interested to find out. So I hope this video gave you some idea of how to mix your own shellac as a sanding sealer or just a shellac in general and uh, gives you an idea of the differences between the one pound, the half pound and the two pound cuts. So if you like this video please consider checking out this video down here where I went into a little more depth on mixing your own shellac. Bye for now.